Hi everyone, in this video I want to simplify the 90 so you can have a better understanding of it which will hopefully help you correct your mistakes. Instead of mindlessly trying to build when doing 90s, having proper knowledge and a thought process behind your actions will help you improve a lot as a player. So the way I break down 90s is instead of three continuous 90s, I break it down into one starting 90 with two added on that require continuous motion. Because with your first starting 90, you have the time to place your initial walls at the lower part of your ramp when you're doing your run up. So because you have this time, you're not required to be doing anything else. So at the start of your first 90, you already have time to place your walls and then it simply just requires a jump, a floor and a ramp. Your goal with your starting 90 is to land as high as you can at the corner with your crosshair placed at a downward angle looking towards the middle left part of your wall. You want to be cognizant of your crosshair placement because it's how you remain consistent and this crosshair placement will help you connect your 90s in a more smooth and consistent manner. And a common mistake I see people do is they have their crosshair here which puts it at a very awkward angle to do their 90 and they'll misplace and have their ramps facing outwards and other stuff. So since you have time with your first starting 90, it really places a lot less mental stress on you to do three continuous motions. So you can understand that with your first one, you have time to spare and you're not having to do things consecutively. So once you land your first 90 and your crosshair is placed there, all it is is just a f moving your crosshair a few millimeters up and towards the right you, you can see that you can already place a wall and if you let out your floor you'll see that the floor is in a perfect position to place as well as the ramp. So because of that crosshair placement everything you need for your next 90s is already there so when you land right here all it is is just a, a slight left right motion and then if you want to do three it's just another slight left right motion so by starting your 90s with proper crosshair placement and understanding that you have time to set things up you're going to be placed in a position where you're not going to mess up so if i do it again i'm landing here at the same spot so when I'm connecting, I'm barely moving my mouse and since I'm cognizant of my crosshair placement, it's really preventing me from making a lot of mistakes and in reality it's keeping the, the triple 90 extremely simple. And this helps by fixing a lot of common mistakes of losing your momentum when bumping into the walls, like these walls. And the trick is with proper crosshair placement, it's always facing towards the right. So you're kind of moving up these walls in a diagonal direction towards the right and with the goal in mind that you're not supposed to touch the walls that your left side is facing. So as I'm connecting 90s, Right, my crosshair is always moving to the right and that allows my body to never touch the walls and to lose momentum. So if you're not looking far enough right and you're looking directly straight, you'll bump into the wall and lose your speed and that's not something you want. 